when I think about the notion of the dark optics, I'm essentially thinking about um, uh, trying to classify uh, historical photography as a, as a period in time that's closed off, which many will say is unfair, especially photography scholars will say, um, how can you say that? It's, it's, a, it's, a, young, uh, it's a young culture. Um, it's, it just got out of the starting blocks. It's just 160 years old. Um, and I would say maybe that's true, and I would actually um, credit photography for having saved the planet. If we didn't have photography, and this is a completely irrational reasoning, if we wouldn't have had photography, we'd probably not have um, uh, any more planet. We might have had a third world war and that would have been it. But photography somehow was a language without words that allowed a, a system of checks and balances. Um, it was a system of verite um, for which you didn't have or you didn't need anyone telling you what you saw, you knew what you saw. And maybe I want to hold still for a moment um, in that uh, historical line of photography. So analog images were thought to provide mutual authentication between what's in front of the lens and what's behind the camera. The first sentence is quite simple. It's you have the system which is in our DNA by now that when you have um, a mechanically produced image or an electronically produced image, you have somehow an intervention which is non-human, which doesn't create, uh, and which is automatic, which in fact generates a imaginary space of the person taking the picture, this abstract, whatever room it may, may be, and then the outside world, uh, which is uh, the authentication of the picture. It subcontracted a recently lost truth system to a device and the technology that developed out of it. What is the lost truth system is, of course, the disintegration of uh, religion and um, the... Uh, uh, in, uh, how you say it? the march on of um, um, industrial revolution, but also scientific revolution, and how it questions the old system. Yeah, the third one is a bit of a joke, circular immaculate uh, conception, um, and I will come to that in a moment. But I realized at one point that uh, back in the days of analog photography, um, and digital photography is still a sort of a later nephew from analog photography. You had, um, incredibly important in fact, that you had vacant surface and that you didn't have uh, directionality. You could essentially walk with the camera, camera body, um, like in the Wim Wenders movie from the mid 90s, uh, the Lisbon story, and just put it on your back and film or photograph the entire world without actually ever seeing it. And uh, so you have, one could say you have a truly liberal origin in uh, analog photography. Of course we have the lens and um, we have to think about how this lens, what, what, what's the role of the lens. And I'm constantly going back thinking, you know, th this is uh, the clue to thinking about photography in the future is, of course, the disappearance of the lens. Already, this device has the smallest part of the device is the lens. You can hardly call it a lens. It's sure, it still captures something that looks like uh, light, but it's nothing without 15% uh, of algorithmic work going into it and making it, translating it to something that looks like uh, an image, like a photograph. And so the lens is probably the first thing to go. And I realized that there were changes on the horizon. 
because some five, six years ago, I started working with um, lensless uh, images and I rebooted my own team. In my studio, we work with about 10 people. Um, some are uh, photographers, there's a cinematographer, there's from many different backgrounds, there's an engineer. And I'm basically uh, the only one who doesn't really have a proper background. Um, and we realized when we started working six years ago um, on a piece called Travel, you can find it back on my website, uh, which is a piece filmed in a forest, but there's no camera. It's entirely drawn uh, in the computer. Um, I realized that there were a few consequences of the loss of the lens. And um, these consequences are not to be ignored. 